Uh, I just want to follow up on that question because I don't think we got a, a direct answer that on the uh, community colleges and uh, the support of a third, a third, a third. Uh, it's my understanding that uh, the state uh, share of their third is currently close to $100 million less than what the counties are contributing to our community colleges. Can you address that? Now, th this is exactly the, the reason for the proposal from the community college presidents for a $97 million increase in operating support focus on workforce development because that's an area for growth. At the same time, I think one has to balance that with the, the reality that the community college funding floor is providing an additional $85 million that wouldn't be there uh, if you ran the formula just based on enrollment. So I do think the state's making an important investment with the floor that we want to make sure that's preserved uh, and look forward to talking further about ways uh, to move towards investing in workforce development to increase the state support. Thank you. Uh, and I agree with you on the importance of the floor. And it's equally important for our secondary education system to have that floor, which has been taken away from them in this year's budget. So uh, I'm glad you're getting it. And we're going to work like hell to make sure that uh, our secondary education gets that as well. Uh, on workforce development, and, and I'm a strong proponent of that, and I applaud the efforts of, uh, of, of CUNY and uh, uh, SUNY and the community colleges in, uh, in their efforts in that. Uh, what progress is being made? You know, we, we have an ever-changing workforce needs, so curriculum and programs are always changing. And, you know, I, I know government moves slow. Academia moves even slower. <laughs> Um, what is going on to maybe streamline the process of getting programs approved so that when they're needed, we can get these students right in the pipeline? Yeah, we, we have significantly accelerated the program approval process at SUNY just over the, the year that I've been here. Uh, I'd also say we are growing micro-credentials, which you mentioned earlier, very quickly. I think we're at 600 micro-credentials now. We have about 280 uh, programs largely micro-credential programs that are going to be eligible for the TAP for non-credit workforce development programs across more than 30 campuses. So we've got a lot of momentum on the workforce development side, uh, green jobs, semiconductor industry, uh, nursing and allied health. And I think our campuses would say they would love more resources to try to grow those more quickly. Uh, for example, last year, the simulation bill allowed 30% of nursing hours to be done through simulation. Uh, but now we have to invest in simulation labs, training of staff, the, uh, the lifelike mannequins that are used in those simulation labs. And so resources to support those things would help us fulfill our workforce development mission. Okay, can, I, no. can I add two things um, on the CUNY side? Yeah. Quickly. A, we, for example, to your point, uh, we've been doing market analysis to be able to determine any new programs that come on board, right? So we have data about what the markets need, particularly on the online space, because we don't want to have duplication and we want to have programs that are in high demand. And we began a program with our community colleges of looking at our applied associates degrees, right? Which are the ones that you're supposed to have two years and not transfer so that they have deeper partnerships with industry, a lot more embedded apprenticeships, right? So we take a look. So what we're saying, this two-year program will lead to a job that we can follow up with data and partnerships. Thank you for that, and I agree with that. Um, on uh, financial support for students in these micro-credential programs uh, or other workforce-type programs that, that aren't degrees uh, ending, uh, and certainly I, I agree with you. We want to encourage students to move on beyond that uh, certificate to get that degree. Uh, certainly better for them in the long run. Uh, and I understand there's some efforts going on uh, federally right now to get some Pell Grant availability yep. to these programs. Uh, are there, is there room for us in New York where we should be expanding our financial assistance for those types of programs that aren't degree programs? Absolutely. I mean, you know, the, the TAP for non-credit workforce programs is a great first step. Uh, that's something we'd love to grow over time. Uh, and we'd love to be able to provide um, more assistance to those students as they move into degree programs. One of the things we're doing with that initiative is saying 
the, the work that is being done in that non-credit program, if they come into a degree program, will count for credits and get them started on their path to a degree. I'm very hopeful about the federal short-term PEL. Uh, has bipartisan support. I'm hopeful that, that we see that soon.